2022. We thank God the year is running to, to the end. So we thank God for that. You love this morning. I just want us to um, just thank God. Let's worship the Father with our prayers this morning. Let's thank him for the great things that he's doing in our midst. Let's just celebrate him because he's a father who never leaves us, who never forsakes us. Let us pray. Father, we come this morning to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. So thank good. you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your abundant mercies. Thank you, gracious God, our Father, for always being there, never leaving us. Thank you for leaving God who never leaves us, who never forsakes us. So, Father, we bless your name this morning. Oh, Lord, our God, we thank you for your mercies that renew every morning. We thank you, Lord, because you have called us unto yourself. And you have equipped us with all that we need to do that which you've called us to do. And where there is need, Father, you've also sent people to work with us. So this day, Father, we call for in our volunteers. We call those whom you've set apart to work with us this day. We call them forth. We pray, Lord, that our paths shall cross. We pray that there shall be recognition. We pray, oh gracious God, our Father, that there shall be even the chemistry to work together to fulfill purpose. That we just honor you. We thank you because you have cladded us with your holy garments. Oh yes, Lord, we are protected under the holy garments of the Lord. For indeed, Lord, your blood covers us. And there is nothing, oh Lord our God, that can find us with an evil intent, that can look for us with an evil intent and find us because we are covered by your blood. Your holy garment is over us. We thank you, Father, because our strength is renewed each day like the morning dew. Daddy, you just do this for us and our strength is renewed. Every time, all the time, Lord, never late, always on time. So, Father, we bless you this day. We say thank you for who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Beloved, this morning we are going to pray and recognize clouds of witnesses to our life. Of In Hebrews 12, Verse 1, the word of God says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. So, beloved, this morning, as we continue to pray for the unfinished projects that we had this year, we want to identify any agents of discouragement to our projects and curse their influences to dry out from their roots. There are some people who specialize in discouraging others. We say, let the influence of your words be dry out from their roots this morning. Amen. Let us declare that just as a crowd of witnesses exercise faith and endurance, so too shall we en endure to the finish line. Amen. Amen. We love there are some weights that we need to command, some hindrances we need to speak to, distractions that we need to get rid of. So any of these that we have, with hindrances and distractions to our eye, ear, mouth, or mind gates, we'll speak to them to leave us right now. We need to focus. The time is running short in this year. And let's declare that you will not quit, but will put the capstones on your projects. We started it, we are going to finish it. Amen. So Amen. beloved, let us just unmute and pray according to these prayer points. 
Daddy, we say thank you once more. Thank you, O oh, gracious God, our Father. Where, O oh Lord, we feel like we are alone, but you will remind us that we are surrounded, O oh God, by a huge crowd of people. The life of faith. So, Father, even as your word encourages us to strip off every weight that slows us down, especially, Lord, the sin that so easily trips us up. Oh, and that with that gone, we shall be able to run with endurance the race that you have set before us. So that in this day we begin to uh, call out all the agents, the, the agents of discouragements, the, the agents of discouragements in our lives, the okay. agents that have caused things to move around inside. Okay. Us. We can't move forward. We are stood on the same point because we are moving around in circles. We call these agents this morning and we Curse your influences from all our projects, from our lives, from everything that we do. We curse you to dry out from your roots in the mighty name of Jesus. All the agents that cause confusion in the things that we do, that speak negative things about the good things that we are doing. Yes, for they have become like the sand ballast in our lives, trying to discourage us trying to distract us, mm -hmm. trying to get us away from fulfilling purpose. Mm -hmm. This morning, we curse you. This morning, we curse you. This morning, we say, dry out from your roots in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, we speak to you that instead of wasting your energy on us, okay. go somewhere else because just as a crowd of witness exercise faith and endurance, we are going to stay here till the end. We speak to every wind, every hindrance, every distraction to our eyes, our ears, our mouths, and our minds. We speak to you this morning. We say those gates are shut. We command the filters to be alert. You just filter away anything that is coming in to distract, anything that is coming to hinder, anything that is coming to, to, to be a weight for us to slow us down. We say, may the filters block you off this day, be it or oh, even our close relatives, family members or friends, if they are coming to be as a weight, in our circle, if they are coming to be a distraction, if they are coming to hinder us from fulfilling purpose, we say, may you be filtered of this day in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare room only for the good advice, the good counsel that we need to move forward. We declare room that the filters be open for the positive inputs, for the volunteers that the Lord has assigned to work with us. We say the filters be open to receive that which you have to offer. And every other voice, we say be silent in the mighty name of Jesus. This day we declare that we are not going to quit, that we are not going to quit, but we shall be there until we put up the capstones on these uh, projects. Because as we began them, the word of the Lord says we shall stick them to the end. So that is our portion. That which we began, that which we began, we shall surely complete. We say, Lord, to you belongs all the glory and all the honor. For you alone are God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Beloved, this morning, I just want us to continue to pray. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, very familiar, very popular amongst us. He said, then God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Amen. Amen. Beloved, this morning we just want to thank God for giving us dominion over the earth, the sea, and the air. 
that's powerful. We have dominion. And after that, we want to command the earth, the command the sea, command the air to resist and destroy any fiery darts against us, against our families, against our projects, against our communities. That as they are released, let the earth, sea, and air resist them and destroy them. We don't even have to think about them. That we're going to release that command this morning. And let us call for every missing aspect of our projects from the earth, sea, and air to locate our projects and move them to completion this morning. It's only you who knows what you are waiting for. For some who are building, maybe they are waiting for roofing material. As the earth, as the air, as the sea, as the water to release the roofing material. For those whose project is acquisition of land, ask that the landlord be located. For those whose project is promotion they are looking for, ask for the right words. Let the air carry the right words to the ears of the person who is to make the final decision. Whatever the situation may be, beloved, let us unmute and just pray through Genesis 1, 28, according to these prayer points. Let us pray. Mighty God, our Father, that if we celebrate you this day, uh, an awesome, awesome God who created us, oh God, and you bless us and gave us command, the dominion, fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, Lord, to have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. That it, it be, the dominion belongs to you. You gave that dominion to us. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for giving us dominion over the earth. Ah, that it is just so much on the earth that if we begin to think of it, that we have dominion over. We are overwhelmed with humility. This great thing, Lord, that you've done for us. We say, how about the sea, Lord? You have given us dominion over the sea. Father, we say, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for we have dominion over this massive, massive body of water. We bless your name, Lord. Oh, Kabo Zekeli City. Thank you, Father, for dominion over the air. Ah, Kalazonte Brikazatala. Thank you, Lord, for this morning over. Because we stand on the premise. We stand, oh Lord, on the rights. We stand on the authority that you've given us over the earth, the sea, and the air. And we begin to command the earth this morning. We say, earth, earth, hear ye the voice of the Lord. I command you this morning to resist and to destroy every fiery that's against me, against my family, against my project. Destroy them this day in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to you the bodies of waters upon the earth. I command you this morning to be alert to resist and destroy any fiery darts coming out from the waters against me or against my family, against my projects, against my plans, against my purpose, against those who are close and dear to me, against my community. This morning I speak to you, O waters of the earth. I speak to you. I say, arise and resist and destroy any fiery that, that is coming from the waters against us. In the mighty name of Jesus, this day I move forward and speak to you. Here. I speak to you, Air. Aziko Le Sande Barazote. From the north to the south, from the east to the west. I speak to the air this morning. I say, arise and resist. Arise and destroy 
His joy, any fiery that released through you to hurt me or my family or my projects or my community, be my church community, be my residential communities. Eka Rosake Elizabeth. Asande libo si katamande kete brazoto. I say resist and destroy. Resist and destroy. Any attacks get towards us, resist and destroy. Earth, land, and sea, I say resist and destroy. Hey, earth, sea, and air, I say resist and destroy. Resist and destroy. Resist and destroy in the mighty name of Jesus. Any adversity towards us, any weapon that is formed against us this morning, we call on the earth, we call on the sea, we call on, on the air. We say resist and destroy them in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, this morning I begin to call forth every missing aspect of my project. Anywhere where there was supposed to be a signature, but it is missing. I call you forth this morning. Eke bazoko lisante, akarabazoko broshanda mazita. I call you forth this morning. I call you forth this morning. I command the earth. I command the sea. I command the air. I say, locate the missing parts. Locate the missing parts. Locate the missing parts in my academics. Locate the missing parts in my in my uh, uh, business. Locate the missing parts in my ministry. Locate the missing parts in my relationships. Locate the missing part in my travel. Locate the missing part in my building. Abu Sheke Lizante, Amandeke Brazoko Losete, and I call them forth to be connected, to be connected with my projects so that my projects can move to completion. Daddy, we bless you this day. You alone, Lord, you alone are worthy of all our praises. You alone, Lord, are worthy of all our praises. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Beloved, this morning we'll continue to pray according to Genesis 29, uh, sorry, verse uh, 26, verses 19 through 22. Even as we take dominion over land. Amen. You see, mm. Isaac's servants also dug in the Gera Valley and discovered a well of fresh water. 20 says, but then the shepherds from Gera came and claimed the spring. This is our water, they said. And they argued over it with Isaac's headsmen. So Isaac names the well Isaac, which means argument. Isaac's men then dug another well, but again, there was dispute over it. So Isaac named it Zidna, which means hostility. Abandoning that one, Isaac moved on and dug another well. They will not discourage us. We will keep on moving. Amen. This time there was no dispute over it. So Isaac named the place Rehoboth which means open space. For he said, at last, the Lord has created enough space for us to prosper in this land. Amen. 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 Love, I want all of us to just unmute and say, at last, the Lord has created enough space for us to prosper in this land. Can we say oh. that? At last, the Lord has created enough space for us to prosper in this land. Amen. Amen. So let our dominion over land be established since there is enough space to prosper. I just want you to pray this morning and call forth that open space. Yes, they will try to stop you the first time. They did so for Isaac and his headsmen. They may try to stop you the second time, but we will not give up. Their goal is to discourage you so that you give up. But we are going to keep pushing and pushing until we come to that open space. 
because there is enough space for us that the Lord has created. So we are on that journey to acquire that space. Amen. Amen. So beloved, let us just unmute and pray. And thank God that he has created this space for us. And let our antennas become alert for us to locate these spaces this morning. Let us pray. Daddy, we just celebrate you this morning. We thank you, oh God, for giving us the example of Isaac and his head. How, Lord, wherever they went and dug a well, they faced some challenges and had to abandon it and move on to the next. Father, they move from arguments to experience hostility, but they abandon those things because they know, oh God, that they will endure to the end. And so, Father, we say thank you. Thank you for the place called Rehoboth. Thank you, O oh Lord, for this open space which you have provided for us. Thank you for the open space which you have allocated to each family online this morning. Thank you, Father, for that open space. And we pray, O oh gracious God, our Father, we call forth our alertness that every antenna, Every aspect of our being, be alert, O oh God, to the open space that you have created for us so that we will walk to that space and put our signatures on that space. We will walk to that space, O oh God, be it shelves in companies like Walmart. We will walk to that space, Lord, and we will acquire those shelves. Be it, O oh Heavenly Father, space. In, in investment banks like J.P. Morgan and Wall Street, Father, we will walk to that space, Lord, and acquire the space that you've given us. Be it, O oh, gracious God, our Father, space, even in Hollywood, Lord, we'll walk there and acquire this. How we just say thank you. Be it space, O oh, Lord, in the massive lands, in very expensive zip codes, O oh, gracious God, our Father, that it will pray that we locate that space and acquire it, Lord, because you have pronounced that there is real hope of concerning us. There is open space assigned to our names. Oh, Lord, we pray that we shall not walk and not find these spaces, that we shall not walk, Lord, and not recognize these spaces, but that, Father, we will recognize these spaces this day. We begin to pray, Lord, and call forth the volunteers. We call forth the destiny helpers that you have placed, O oh Lord, to direct us to this open space. Kabro Zeke Lizata, we say, may our paths, may there be no delay to the crossing of our paths so that we're going to locate this space and there we will find the water, we will find all the resources, Lord, that we need to, to expand, to expand, to expand, Lord, for your glory. We say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. Lord, this morning we are going to pray, even as we find in Luke chapter 5, verses 4 through 7. Message translation says, when he finished teaching, this is Christ, he said to Simon, push out into deep water and let your nets out for a catch. Simon said, Master, we've been fishing hard all night and haven't caught even a minnow. But if you say so, I'll let out the nets. It was no sooner said than done. A huge haul of fish straining the nets past capacity. They waved to their partners in the other boats to come help them. They filled both boats, nearly swarming them with the catch. Amen. Amen. You know, just like we pray concerning the land, let us pray for established dominion over the water in goods, in partnerships, in networks, in abundant world from the seas. Amen. 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 Let us pray for dominion over the water this morning. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, because you have given us dominion 
on va décider. Thank you, Father, for dominion over the seas, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for dominion over the seas, Lord. So, Father, this day we pray that every good thing that is under the seas, yes, 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 Lord, every good thing that is under the seas, every great partnership that has been locked under the seas, every great network that the marine spirits are receiving, putting us away or failing to permit us to get into Oh, yes, Lord, every network, every network that the marine spirits have tried to hide from us, every network that the marine spirits have raised the bar and made it so difficult for us to get into those networks. This morning, we speak to you. We say, break, break, break and locate us. Break and be open to us. We walk into you this morning. We see our networks change right now. Change right now. Change right now. Change right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we celebrate you. We celebrate you, oh God. For even as we know that the world is under the seas, that it is morning, we, we celebrate you. Because the networks to take us to those places have been released to us. Oh, Sako Libo, Jeke de Mazuta. The partnerships that we need to bring us closer to these places have been released this day. We say thank you, Father. Thank you, most gracious God. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Beloved, this morning we continue to pray. As in 1 Kings chapter 1, uh, sorry, chapter 18, verses 41 to 44. Here we meet with Elijah after he had spoken concerning the rain. In verse 18, the word of God says, And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Amen. Amen. Ahab went up to eat and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Camel, as Mount Camel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees. In verse 44, it tells us that, and it came to pass at the seventh time, as I was a servant was going to check, that he said, behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, go up, say unto Ahab, prepare thy chariot, and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. Amen. Amen. Beloved, this morning, as we take dominion over the air, we say, let it rain, Lord. Yes. Let it rain. Let's pray for dominion of the air to be established in all areas of our projects. Let the connections rain. Let the networks rain. Let the opportunities for businesses rain. Let the opportunities for staffing rain. Let the opportunities for marketing rain. Let the opportunities for relationships rain. Let the opportunities for breakthroughs at our jobs rain. Let the opportunities for promotion rain. Let the opportunities for obedience of our students rain. Wherever we find ourselves, whatever we are doing, let us pray this morning and say, let it rain. Call forth the rain. Call forth the rain for your families. Call forth the rain for your close friends who have shared their concerns with you. Call forth the rain. Let us pray this morning, beloved. Father, we say thank you. Let it rain, oh gracious God, our Father. 
Let it rain, Lord. That is to rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let the clouds, the skies burst open. It is rain of blessing upon the land. Where there is dryness, Lord, we pray that is done. The trees, O Lord, and the vegetation will spring forth. Let it rain, O gracious God, our Father, that the plants may bear. Let it rain, O gracious God, our Father. Let it rain, O Lord, upon our lives. We pray, Lord, that the decisions that your children need from the high offices uh, that no, your no, children no. need to be placed on the contracts hey. that oh, your children uh, need oh god to be put on memorandums of uh, understanding uh, that your uh, children uh, need uh, to uh, allocate your superiors to them to that your children need oh god uh, new spaces uh, to uh, allocate uh, to them uh, Oh, Father, this morning we say, let it rain, O oh, Heavenly Father, upon our families. Let your wisdom and knowledge and understanding rain, O oh, God. Father, we say, let it rain. Let it rain, O oh, Lord, that there shall always be bread on the table, Father. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Fell down, O oh Lord. Let it rain in our lives. Let it rain, O oh God, that your children will no longer know want. O oh Heavenly Father, we shall flow in your abundance. Let it rain, O oh gracious God, our Father. Even in the areas where your children have debts, O oh God, let it rain so that all these debts are paid off. Let it rain, O oh Lord, at our jobs, that the good things that you do through us, O oh Father, shall be made known to the fullness of our faith. This is where we work. Father, may we begin to see promotion. May we begin to see increase, O oh Lord, in our incomes. Father, we say, let it rain. Let it rain, O oh Lord, for those desiring the fruit of the womb, O oh gracious God, our Father. Let it rain, O oh God, so that this shall become a reality. Look, O oh Lord, for those who oh, have only Father seeking spouses, O oh Lord our God, we pray that it shall rain. Relationships, O oh Lord, shall come to pass. Father, we pray this day, we say, Lord, let it rain. Let it rain, O oh God, for those who are working on projects, projects, O oh Lord, that are research and development projects. Yeah. How we pray, O oh God, that your wisdom and knowledge and understanding and great results shall reign, O oh Heavenly Father, that they also, Lord, shall become projected as inventors, so projected, O oh God, as innovators. Father, let it rain. Let it rain, O oh gracious God, our Father, even in the area of evangelism, as your children go, O oh Lord, to make outreach. Let it okay. rain, Father, so that we'll see increase in the body of Christ. O oh Lord our God, let it rain. Let it rain, O oh Lord, upon our calling. For those of us, O oh gracious God, our Father, whom you have called to the ministry, we pray, Lord, that the fivefold ministry shall reign in every ministry on this platform. O oh Lord, our God, let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let your prayers, O oh Lord, let the spirit to pray. Let the desire to pray. Let the desire to spend time in the presence of God. Let that rain, Father, in our home, yes. in our families, O oh Lord, shall turn to you and we will serve you. O oh, Father, let it rain and let the influence of that rain in our generations, O oh God, so that it shall be said of us, even as it was said of Joshua, that all in his household and all, O oh Lord, who lived in his time served the Lord. Father, we say, let it rain. Let it rain, O oh God. Let Peace reign upon the land. Kalazoko de Zika Bremazete. Let it rain, Father. Let understanding, let reconciliation reign, Father. We cry to you, O God, let it rain. Let the implementation, O God, of that which we have learned reign in our lives, O Father. That then we pray that may there be visible, tangible projects amongst us. Visible, tangible projects that have been brought to completion 
Mm -hmm. Oh, Father, let it rain. That they will just honor you this day. We celebrate you, our Lord and our King. We say yes. thank you, Father. Thank you for that which you do in our midst. Thank you, O oh Lord, for giving us dominion over the air. Yes. And Lord, because of that, O oh Father, we say glory and honor be unto you, your sacred name. For from amongst us, O oh gracious God, we know that you have raised giants, raised giants, Lord. Who have conquered the air you have raised giants who have conquered the sea you have raised giants who have conquered the land so lord we say let the giants for the lord let the kingdom giants reign upon this earth for your glory in jesus mighty name amen and amen amen and we love will continue to pray and celebrate the father this morning with our testimonies in 2 Kings chapter 8, verses 4 to 6. The word of God says, Then the king talked with Gehazi, the servants of the man of God, saying, Tell me, please, all the great things Elisha has done. He said, Now it happened as he was telling the king how he had restored the dead to life, that there was the woman whose son he had restored to life, appealing to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said, My lord, O king, this is the woman, and this is her son, whom Elisha restored to life. Yes. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. So the king appointed a certain officer for her, saying, Restore all that was hers. Amen. And all Amen. the proceeds of the field from the day that she left the land until now. Amen. Amen. Beloved, does anybody have a testimony to share with us? Now is the time for that. Amen. Amen. Any testimonies? Okay. Mm. Beloved, I just want to um, share with us that this morning, as I was just about um, getting out of bed, I saw something that was just it, it had some awesome royal colors and it was coming out from a box as if you we were offering some prayers and incense and it was forming a flame and rising up like that and i just heard the voice of the father saying the Lord has heard your cries. Amen. 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 He has heard our cries. Amen. So I bring word to us this morning that the Lord has heard our cries. Amen. And as he heard the cries of the children of Israel, he sent someone to them. That was Moses. And they were delivered from their situation. So whatever situation you've been holding the Lord onto, just know that this morning, the Lord has heard your cries. So Amen. we are expecting great results. Amen. 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 Any Amen. other testimony? Okay. <laughs> Pastor Jules, anything? Any testimony? No, sir, I don't have anything this morning. Amen. Okay. So let us continue. So, beloved, we are going to pray through these prayer points because testimonies from what we see here in 2 Kings. 8 verses 4 to 6 is 
how it really happens. The king desired to hear what the prophet Elisha had done. And the words that this uh, Gehazi told him, the word he used was restore. He said he restored the dead to life. As he was telling the king about it, this child whose life was restored to life showed up with his mother. And the mother was asking that her lands be given back to her. So what did the king do? The king appointed a certain officer, a certain officer and asked that all that was hers be restored from her. And all the benefits, the profits from her field from the day she left until now. So beloved, this morning I would want us to pray concerning all that we left behind, everything that belongs to us, even the ones that we thought were gone for good. Let us pray this morning that as the Lord has heard our cries, it's like we went to the king to talk about restoration. As the Lord has heard our cries, let everything concerning us be restored. Amen. Amen. Let everything concerning Amen. us be restored. You will remember what needs to be restored. Maybe it is the health of a family member. Maybe it is the refocusing of a family member who has okay. shifted from what they used to do. They are doing something else and it is not working out. Maybe it's just a, an awakening. Someone is moving in a path that is not the right path. Whatever needs to be restored. Maybe it is order in your classroom, order in your place of work, order in your family. Whatever needs to be restored. Yes. Maybe relationships that have been broken that need to be restored. Whatever needs to be restored, beloved, lift them up to the Father this morning. Yes. Lift them up to the Father. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, Daddy, we just thank you this day. We thank you, O oh God, because you do set us up. You set us up so that we will be restored. And our restoration comes to claim even the things that we do not know because you also allocate to us the profit of that which had been taken away from us. I think that which we cannot quantify, but you know, you know, Lord, and you give those things back to us. This morning, our Father and our God. We pray concerning, O oh Lord, our church community. We pray concerning our brethren, Father, and we speak restoration. We speak restoration. Restore, O oh Heavenly Father, peace in our home. Restore peace in our communities. Restore peace in our nations, O oh God. Father, we say restore unto us, O Lord, the joy of your salvation. Restore unto us, O God, the joy of your salvation. The complete joy, O Lord, of your salvation. The complete salvation package. We say, Father, restore. Restore, O God, because your son did not die on the cross for nothing. Your son did not die on the cross so that the blood of his death on the cross be wasted. So, Father, this day we say, Lord, restore. Lord, restore. Lord, restore. Lord, restore. Restore, O oh, gracious God, our Father. We cry to you, Lord. We say, Father, restore. Restore the health, O oh, Lord, of your children. Restore, O oh, Heavenly Father, the declining health, O oh, Heavenly Father, of breadwinners. Restore, O oh, Heavenly Father, the health, O oh, Oh, gracious God, our Father of children, restore the help of mothers, O oh God. Papa, we cry.
Christ, Lord, you Lord, this day. We say, Lord, restore, restore, O oh Lord, the focus of your children. Those, O oh Lord, who have been tempted and prodded and pushed about to backslide. This morning, we pray to you, our Father and our God, that they be restored, O oh God, that their work with you be restored. Our Father, we cry to you this morning that, O oh Father, for some of us, we used to have the gifts, O oh Lord, to see visions. We used to have the gifts to dream dreams and remember them. We used to have and experience the gifts of healing. Oh, Father, the gifts of miracles in our midst. So this morning, Father, we cry to you that everything that we used to have, Father, oh God, that is beneficial for the advancement of the kingdom. We pray this day, oh God, that the Lord restore. Restore, oh Heavenly Father, the zeal to worship you. Restore, Lord, the zeal to study your word. Restore in our families, oh God, the zeal to pray together as families. Restore, oh God, the zeal to study the word as families. Restore, Heavenly Father, the zeal to celebrate you at every opportunity. That day we say, Restore. Father, restore, oh God, we pray to you. Restore, oh Heavenly Father, restore, oh Lord, the recognition that we're Christ. supposed to the get in our companies. Father, we say restore. God, we restore, oh Heavenly Father, the even the salary skills that we used to have the when the economy was Christ. doing so much better. Father, we say restore. We that we pray not God. for ourselves God. alone, but we pray, oh Lord, even for this place that we come from. We say, Father, restore the great and awesome economy. Restore, oh Heavenly Father, sense of direction in the administration. Restore, O oh Lord, justice in the land. Restore, O oh Heavenly Father, a criminal justice system. Restoration, O Lord, serves the people as a justice. Restore, O oh gracious God, equality in the land. Remove from amongst us, O oh gracious God, every form of systemic discrimination and racism. Father, we say restore. Father, we say, may your peace restore, Rest, be restored, O oh Lord, in the land. We say, no more wars, O oh Lord. The their distress, O oh Lord, of families displaced because of wars, O oh Father. We pray, Lord, that you restore peace, restore peace, restore peace. Father, we pray, O Heavenly Father, that safety and protection, O Lord, be restored. Restore your safety and protection. Safety in schools, O God. Safety in the workplace. Safety, Father, at the malls. Safety, Father, in places of entertainment. Lord, we say, may safety and the protection of the Lord be restored. Restore us, O Lord, in the pursuit of our purposes. Where the distraction has come and removed us, O God, from our own hearts. We pray, Father, that we be restored. Heavenly Father, we pray this day that you restore the the right relationships, oh God, for our lives. Even when, oh Lord, we've dealt with every form, our Father, of tempest, every form of turmoil, Lord, we pray for restoration. Restore, oh God, the relationships in our lives, Father, that you, that is in your purpose to restore. Every area. That they will celebrate you. Pray, O oh Lord, for our spouses that their health be restored. We pray for our spouses that their commitments to the Lord be restored. We pray for our spouses that their desire to serve the Lord be restored. Father, we just celebrate you. We say thank you, Father, because we have been restored. We call for everything, O oh God, that has been taken from us. And we say, 
for they have been restored this morning. Thank you. The Thank you, Lord, for you have restored. Thank you, Lord, for you have restored. Thank you, Lord, for you have restored. Thank you, Father, for you have restored. Thank you, Lord, for you have restored. Thank you, Lord, for you have restored. Thank you, Father, for you have restored. We celebrate you, Lord. We celebrate you, Father. We honor you, O gracious God. We honor you, O gracious God. We say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's mighty name. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen and amen. 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 We just thank the Father because he has restored. Amen. The Lord has restored. Amen. I want to encourage you this morning to go and look at those things that you lost and begin to shake them and say, you have been restored. You have been restored. Thank you. Amen. 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 Can we say our final greetings? Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you guys for worshiping with us this morning.